Hello everyone, my name is Arturo, and I am at the head of the Creator Club we call Donors United. Our featured match today is the start of the Scottish Ladbrokes League One season. The 2018-2019 campaign is underway, and we open up against Peterhead, who we very recently lost to on penalties in one of our cup competitions, but we'll get to that in a bit. First things first, let's take a look at the transfer history. As you notice, uh, we are sitting pretty darn flush with cash right now. Uh, Stan Stanton we're looking at as a potential central midfielder uh, to help replace our now-departed depth. Uh, it could be somebody who's good for us. He's got fitness in the right spot, and everyone knows if you're fit enough, you're good for my team. The strength is a bit worrying, though. He's got it. He's got the playmaking chops, which is nice. Uh, good backup to have in case NG Wolfgamer goes down. Fingers crossed that never happens. Uh, Longtime Hibernian man, 65 appearances, 3 goals, with a bunch of loan spells. So he's not exactly a slouch to Scottish soccer. We'll see if he actually agrees to this trial. He's even got a U21 cap to his name, so there you go. Uh, also, Lewis Milne, a very high-rated attacking midfielder. Uh, so I would be very, very happy if he came over to, to play with us. Again, he's got fitness where it counts. Balance is a bit suspect. A little bit worried about the lack of aggression and bravery, but everything else, great vision, great work rate, great technique, great passing. He's a good free kick taker and a corner taker, so he's got the set piece duty. So it's it could be good for us. Longtime Cowden Beef Man, 117 appearances, 14 goals, and 28 and 4 with Dundee before being let go. So I'm very surprised Cowden Beef didn't make a move for him. But mine is not the question. Mine is but to snap him up on a free, if possible, to replete to replace our depleted central midfield core. Now, another thing we had to replace, and those of you who are ten of may have noticed the state of our uh, of our squad right now. I've noticed what I've also had to replace. Let's go to our transfer history. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, Man United cashed in Mark Daly's two million dollar minimum release clause, and he is gone unfortunately. That really does hurt. Robbie Crawford also gone to York, thank goodness he was complaining. Cam McCallum and Ross McLaughlin are the lucky winners of the Broxburn Athletic Sweepstakes, going on loan to our feeder club. John Churchman also on season-long loan with Colwyn Bay, and he's already having some decent results. His form may, may have tanked in the last match, but he's uh, he's doing pretty good in his friendlies to start the season. Uh, one goal already, though the 6.38 average is not exactly ideal. Point being is he will no doubt be getting competitive minutes with uh, Colin Bay. And with all this potential, I mean, I'm pretty sure he will develop. Goodness knows uh, we could use him to develop. And that ball-winning midfield role is something we desperately need more of. He's also got that box-to-box -box capability, so we'll see if he can improve on that as well. He was a good box-to-box uh, -box player when he was younger, so we'll see if that can uh, come to fruition as we go forward. But yeah, the, the Mark Daly loss... That was a big one. He's now making 2.3k a week, so it's a steal for Man United on the salary front. Uh, it is, to be fair, uh, a pretty big penny they paid for him. So you have to think he'll be getting time. It's not just their, uh, not just their youth side, but hopefully the senior squad. But we saw how well that worked with NG Wolf Gamer the first. So let's not get our hopes up. In two non-competitive appearances, though, with the side, he's already got a couple of sub appearances worth 6.5. Very good for a jump from the donors to Man United. Not too bad at all. One other player who did make the jump quite nicely to his new club, uh, in flying colors it must be said, is uh, Jorge Mendoza, the other from the backline co-host who unfortunately has left us again due to my own horrible inability to keep track of my own contracts. But his debut with uh, Mercia Lagos was, uh, was not a bad one at all. 8.3! In his debut, 8.3. Absolutely sensational stuff. As you can see, his senior debut, they're 8.3. Those are all just friendlies. The big one against Tepic, pretty darn good right there. 8.3, and he's been pretty much lights out the rest of the way. Uh, a brief hiccup against uh, Alebrias, uh, notwithstanding. 8.37988. I mean, you can't really ask for much more than that. You're starting central defender, so already Jorge Mendoza making a name for himself in Mexico. Does it lead to him getting a call up to Canada? That's the question, because as you know, he was on the shortlist for the Canadian World Cup squad. He did not make 
the final roster, so he's on the, the preliminary, not the shortlist, let's say, the preliminary roster. But we'll see how he does with Murcielagos. Does it lead to uh, national team call-ups? One can hope. And more importantly, his contract only runs to the end of the year, and I am flush with cash, so if I can get him back, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd do that in a heartbeat. Absolutely, I would. But believe I'd bring him back. Elsewhere. I am still employed at the donors because the takeover has come and gone and I have survived it. Thank goodness. Very good thing indeed. We can all agree that if I were to suddenly, you know, not be employed anymore, that would be bad times for all involved. But as it happens, we are currently working on those new training facilities and the new board. Is, they're pretty cool with me. They're pretty cool with me. Let's take a look here at the overall situation here with our staff. Scott Mackey is the new chairman with Jim Strachan and Jack Macklin, as, or Jack Mackin, I'm sorry, as the new director. So it's a three-person board. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, they have basically left the club as is. I am free to continue running it as I have been. Thank goodness, considering the amount of money that I just dropped into this club, they'd better be happy with it. Goodness gracious, I've been doing pretty darn good, including rejecting further bids for Ashley Grant, which are horrible. So yeah, the board's happy with me, which is good. Though, I have to think that the uh, <laughs> the honeymoon will be over once we get to results. But like I said, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, so with Mark Daly gone, we brought in Giovanni Di Lorenzo. He is a two and a half star straight out of Italy, 25 years old. So he's pretty much exactly what you would expect. Uh, we're training him as a central defender. He, he's got it where it matters. Everyone knows I like my physical stats on defenders, and 12 jumping, 14 fitness, 11 strength is pretty darn good. 11 stamina as well. Uh, not too bad. He should hopefully serve as quite well. He's considered a good player, and I've got him on a two-year deal. And that's exactly what you like for a 1.5k. He should just basically hold the line, fill the gap, until we're ready to bring him in. He did not really spend all of 2018 uh, as a free agent, so uh, leaving Matera at 28 appearances. Uh, he's you know racked up quite a decent number of appearances in Italy. This is his first experience outside to the point where he is uh, he's currently on an extensive, intensive language course. Three U21 caps for Italy. Though, judging by his current ability, I doubt that will be happening in the future. I did have two other trialists from the Italian leagues. Uh, Riccardo Serpieri is the other one. He's currently being courted by other teams. Though, Serpieri, again at 24, is a younger option. Still decent physicals. Uh, looking at him... He's uh, he's definitely got that potential, but I really only need one, and I don't want to make the mistake of overbuying on defenders. Just need the four pillars, and between Hodge, Halkett, Martin, and DiLorenzo, I've got my four pillars, and we're good to go. DiLorenzo is actually a little bit less than I thought he would be. His initial reports from the scouts were sitting at a solid three, so I'm a little bit disappointed to see it's fallen off to 2.5 after I've signed him. Not exactly thrilled about that, but... We'll keep him in a starting position, 6.7 already over two matches. I mean, that's that's what you like to see out of your new signings, not stinking the joint up. All right, so I put this off for as long as I can. Let's talk results. All right, so result number one. We'll uh, head over on to our schedule here. As you can see, our preseason was basically decided to beat us up and get us money. Mission accomplished. Uh, Peterhead, our first meaningful competition, lost on penalties 1-1. Not good at all. Thomas Riley equalizing the 27th minute after Roy McAllister opened early on the 4th minute. Now, here's the deal. I knew I needed to win this thing, and we outshot them 30 to 6 10 shots on target. A blinder of a game from Nicolas Carreau. Absolutely sensational work and goal. The 7.4 reflects that. We just could not crack them open. And that ended up costing us. Because, as you'll note, Aaron Wadda Holloway missed his penalty. Keller scored to win it. Now, you will also notice, Louis Toshny was subbed off in the 118th minute with the express purpose of bringing Aaron Amadi Holloway on, who then missed his penalty. You know, if there's, um, if there's one easy way to further get yourself down in a boss's uh, bad books, that's one way to do it. Not happy at all. Aaron Muddy Holloway. 
because, of course, we are expected to get to the third round. Being knocked out in the first by Peterhead on penalties is not doing us any favors, especially, as I mentioned, to keep this honeymoon period with the board going. Thankfully, we are in the second round in this League Cup, albeit against our affiliate Hamilton. Great. Thankfully, we got there by another 1-1 penalty shot. This time, we won against Clyde, and this time, bringing on Aaron Amadi Holloway in the 120th minute for Stinsmaster, the worst penalty taker on the team, got us the win. Now, this penalty shootout was absolutely amazing, and we only got there because Ashley Granton got a 74th minute goal to equalize. It took us long enough to get that goal. Again, 26-9, out shooting our opposition, 9-3 on target. Greg Amos, sensational stuff for Clyde. I'm not liking that we keep running into hot goalkeepers. This is not not going to do well for the old, uh, the old morale. But we'll take a look at the goals here. Start things off. Just to show you how we got to this position. Nice little head off the set piece there by Ferguson. Go to the pro zone cam here. Where's that pro zone cam? There it is. Angie Wolfgamer. Riley. NG Wolfgamer. Gratton misses out. But Riley recovers. They try it again. Toshny. NG Wolfgamer. Switches out wide to Chalmers. There's the cross! Headed away at the far post. McQueen. Tries to clear. Doesn't get past NG Wolfgamer. Riley. Aronos Tumor. Gratton! First time! Amos gets a hand to it! But it's too hard and too high. Deflects in. Thank you very much. One all. Which takes us to the penalty shootout. Aaron Hollywood went first this time and buried it. Thank you for learning. Mitchell. Mi he buries it. Well, it's humor. Yes, sir. Davey. Saved by Jamie J. Chalmers. Saved by Greg Amos. McLeod scores. So we're all even. Snorlax. Scores. The keeper doesn't even move. Beautifully placed shot. Upper corner. Ferguson saved by Jamie J. And then all Ashley Gratton has to do is Ashley Gratton things. And we win that shootout. Jamie J. Two saves in the penalty shootout. Can you tell he wants that starting gig? Can you tell he wants the starting gig? Because I dare say, if Borns is like that, uh, he got it. So with that in mind... We now move on to our featured match against Peter. Can we get some redemption for this penalty lost? I'd like to think so. Because we got to start this season on right, but we are again expected to win the title this year. And I'd like to see us do exactly that. Jamie J is in. Backline will stay the same. Aronos Tumor will draw back into the lineup in place of Braycon. Uh, we want to get some uh, veteran presence there up front. Attacking. He's now tutoring Braycon, so hopefully he can lead by example. And Aaron Amadi Holloway will move into the starting uh, second striker role beside Ashley Gratton. The goal here being, again, he is listed. Uh, I would like to sell him and get rid of him and replace him with somebody else. Like, I don't know, let's say Rich TUK and Gordon Marshall who's waiting in the wings. So we'll see. First thing we got to do, though, is making him a, an attractive option to teams. See if we can make that happen. Gratton, what the hell, Gratton? Yeah, it's all good. You don't feel confident? That's a, that's, a, that's quite the shame, because I say we're just gonna keep an eye on these guys, and we're gonna go from there. Now, revenge, the great motivator, and it's very, very apt this time. One all loss on penalties. Aaron Muddy Holloway will be out for vengeance too. And here we go, Donor starting the season away in their reverse Cascadian kit. Peterhead in their blue with white socks. Alright boys, I'm looking for a little bit, of, a little bit of vengeance here. Some solid play. Chalm was already in the referee's bad book. Stern talking to. Close him down, sure. Toshny, 11th minute yell. Toshny's becoming a bit of a card machine. This worries me. Long throw from Angie doesn't worry me though. Great to have that weapon. Oz Tumor blocked. Stins Master. Oz Tumor again saved by Karao. Well, here we are again. We gotta find a way to beat this guy in a way other than a penalty shootout. Snorlax. Goes long. A muddy Holloway gets there. Waits. Back to Toshny. Oz Tumor. 
Stins Master. NG Wolf Gamer. Grattan's shot is blocked. Right idea. Chalmers. There's the cross cleared. Plus Tumor. Chalmers. Stins Master. NG Wolf Gamer. Looking short for Grattan there. Well intercepted by the Peter defense as they saw what was building. They will attempt to counter, but nothing will come of it. Everest now. McAllister on the run is tracked down. Goes short to Blair. Over the bar and then some. And G. Wolfgang with a long throw. Oh, set pieces, man. I love them. Oh, Tumor. Oh, what's a lovely strike from Aaron Ostuber! Oh my goodness, that's how you open your account to start the season! My goodness! Ostumer with a rocket from the arc! Bar, down, in, thank you! Lovely stuff from Ostumer. Call it a good goal! 1 0 to the donors. Stins Master getting the assist on that. Yellow card to Nathan Blockley at the half hour mark. Shots 5 to 3 on target 2 to 1. Ostumer hits the bar. Stays in play and it's cleared. He's looking for more and that's good. I think he realized with Breakon taking his minutes in the cup competitions, he, uh, he's got to prove. That he can hold off the youngster, though hopefully that tutoring arrangement between the two of them will, uh, will uh, keep the competition positive. As that ball was poor. Now Peter had take over. Blair. Kelleher. Cardi. Cormac. Kelleher. Scored the shootout winner last time. And there's the shootout loser, Aaron Amati Holloway. Callister. Mortimer. Good step up by Toshny. Amati Holloway. Stins Master. Long ball for Gratton. Gratton's on side. The shot, though, is uh, distinctly lacking. Cardell. That was a good-looking set piece, and thankfully a poor shot goes wide, and Jamie J's goal is not tested. As we approach halftime, still 1-0 to the donors. On a beautiful Aronos tumor strike, bar down and in. And McAllister couldn't even hit the target from a very clear opportunity there, and that is a clear-cut chance squandered by Peterhead. Lock will try again, but DiLorenzo gets in the way. Snorlax. Looking for Gratton, won't get there. But there is a second ever here. There is still time. And the ball over top from Aaron Amati Holloway to Gratton. No. Aaron Amati Holloway not able to provide an assist. Namely because uh, Gratton was not able to provide a goal. He's looking complacent. I know you're capable of even better. I have faith in you. You're doing well in the midfield, boys. Keep it up. And now, revenge. Revenge. Oh, passionate? Fine. Deep thought. No. I want you to be happy. Get out of your complacency, Gratton. Score some goals. All right. Control approach seems to be working for us, but we are losing possession, though it is a false metric in the modern game. Passing is ugh, dismal for both sides. Yikes. Cleared there by Martin on a dangerous looking cross. Do I need to do anything here? It's a good question. Well cleared. It's a good question. Do I, need to, I think we'll exploit the left. We'll try and unleash the beast that is Joe Chalmers. What do they want me to do here? Work on the box? Yeah, might as well. And we're gonna, we are, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting game here through the midfield. We are trying to pass our way to victory. And now it might actually work. Aaron Wanda Holloway! That's not even a shot. That looks like you tripped and sneezed. Good grief. Chalmers. Stins Master. Aaron's Tumor. Gratton save by Caro! That was a good looking chance from Ashley Gratton. 
Sadly, it was not to be. Muddy Holloway. Stinsmaster. Looks for Chalmers. No. The chance continues. I feel like I should be worried here. Toshni. Snorlax. Stinsmaster. Chalmers. Little step. Oz Tumor. NG Wolf Gamer. Back to Chalmers. There's the flag, dude. Special! Yes, sir! Aaron Amati Holloway finishes off the easy peasy cross to the far post. Joe Chalmers showing that a flag dude special fixes all ills, cures all woes. Beautiful ball. It was always going to be Amati Holloway getting there. No questions about the onside. 2 0 to the donors. As we pass into the final half hour of the game. Uh, yeah, Grattan's looking a little bit, uh, complacent, which I don't agree with. Uh, so I'm actually gonna sub him off. We're gonna let Riley have a go here. We'll play him as... A deep line for him? We play him as false nine. Oh, we play him as attacking target man, can't we? You're not good at it, but... Okay, that versus... That is your best role. Play is an attacking target, man. All right, let's see how this works. And I think we'll bring on Jamal Wood. I know, I know, games have been lost by doing that. But I want to keep Snorlax fresh. All right, Jamal Wood. Don't screw this up. We'll also take off Toshni so she don't get a card. Rutherford, get in there. Uh, limited fullback. Good. Scott now, down the right, saved by Jamie J, and cleared by DiLorenzo. And there's the sub, Rutherford in for Toshny. DiLorenzo. DiLorenzo has done exactly as advertised. Holds the fort down, nothing too flashy, just keep a clean sheet. That's all we ask. Passing has improved slightly. Attempting plenty of them, just by sheer volume. Good save there by Jamie J. It's that goal, actually, for the Flag Dude Special was our first successfully completed cross of the game. It went to the back of the net. So there you go. And Seven Finney Brandish dishes a yellow. Brandish is a yellow. There we go. And looks like Lewis Martin. See you. 7 9 for DiLorenzo in his league debut for the side. That's going to endear yourselves to the faithful. Amadi Holloway couldn't even hit the target when he's offside and in the clear, so it's amazing. He scored on the Flag Dude special when he did. Wood. Stins Master. I'm actually going to change. Wood's duty here. He's not a true anchor man. He's getting better at it, which is something I never thought I'd say. But well, we're going to put him on ball winning. Just to be clear, I'm not expecting him to do any more than is absolutely necessary. Chalmers. Stins Master. Oz Tumor. Riley. Amadi Holloway. Oh my goodness, Aaron Amadi Holloway shuts me up. A lovely strike trying to outdo Aaron Oz Tumors to open the scoring. From distance, just outside the box, stops, turns, picks his sign. Caro cheated to the right there, you saw, and got caught. Well, now you can hit the target. Well done there from Aaron Amati Holloway, and three deal to the donors. That should seal the deal. A fantastic start to the season. That's how you start your campaign for a title. And that's, more importantly, how we get revenge, the great motivator. Over a team that beat us on penalties when really they shouldn't have. Two goals from Aaron Amati Holloway making up for his penalty miss in the cup. And the winner, an opening goal from Erhunos Tumor. A absolute scorcher. Bar down and in. Wonderful way to open his account. So after one game, the donors are leading the league. Give us a title. And Ashley Gratton has not scored any of the team's three goals. Crisis. Next time on Donors United, we will check in at the one-third point of the season against Berwick, recently promoted Berwick, who
who open their League One campaign with a one-all draw against Stranraer. They'll be quite happy with that. Very happy indeed. That'll be next time on Donors United. My name is Arturo. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite. Tell all your friends about these videos on YouTube. And don't forget to join us in Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Arturo's, where each and every one of these episodes is recorded live. It's also where you can become a donor. You could be like Jorge Mendoza, having a wonderful player of the match performance from Rizia Lagos in the... Oh, look at that. 8.6 in a nil-all draw. You could be like John Churchman who unfortunately uh, put in a 6.1 uh, against North Ferriby. But the point is he played the full 90 and he's getting minutes and we're very happy for that. A minimum $5 donation at twitch.tv slash Turo could get you onto Donors United. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.